This video will focus on the order of metric conversions. We will be converting one metric unit to another metric unit. The normal way of converting a metric unit to another unit is by using the power of 10. In other words, you can either multiply by 10, 100, 1000, or divide by 10, 100, 1000. Sometimes it can be confusing to know which operation. This acronym in front of you will help you to remember how to convert one unit to another. The acronym reads, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. The first letter of each word in the acronym represents the prefix of a metric unit. For example, the key K in King represents kilo, the H in Henry represents hecto, the D in doesn't represents deca, the U in usually represents the three basic units in the metric system, meters, grams, or liters. The D in drink represents deci, the C in chocolate represents centi, and the M in milk represents milli. A kilo is the largest metric unit, and a milli is the smallest metric unit. Just to refocus back under the three main units in the metric system, I can rewrite any of those units as a kilometer, a kilogram, or a kiloliter. Remember, those three met metric units are really the suffixes to each of the prefix. I can also write a centimeter, a centigram, or a centiliter. So let's get started. On the bottom of the page, you can see I'm trying to convert eight centimeters to millimeters. Looking at the acronym, I find the centimeter, which is to the right of the acronym, and millimeter is one word over from centimeter. I would move the imaginary decimal to the right of eight, one space over, or one place value over. My new answer would be eight centimeters is the same as 80 millimeters. Let's try another one. Let's convert 12 liters to kilometers. How about we'll do kiloliters instead? Okay. If you look at the center for liters, liters is under usually or under unit. The kilo or kiloliters is to the left under king. I would have to move from the center, liters, one, two, three spaces to the left. In other words, I would need to move my imaginary decimal, which is to the right of 12, I would have to move it three spaces to the left. So my answer would be 0 0.012 kiloliters. Let's try one more example. Let's convert milligrams, 6.7 milligrams, to grams. Milligrams uses the prefix milli, so I would start all the way to the right of my acronym and I need to find grams, which is under the units. So I would move from milli one, two, three spaces to the left. So I would move the current decimal three spaces over to the left, and my answer would be 0 0.0067 grams. Now you know how to convert one metric unit to another metric unit using the acronym King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk.